everyone. Welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah presents Snacks Around the World. That's right. By the way, I'm Deborah. Um, and each week I like to go someplace different or sometimes some of the same places, but with some different foods. And today we have cuttlefish snacks. And those of you who are not familiar with any kind of Asian cuisine are going, the what? Yeah, but let's see. And when I read with you what's in these, you're going to be like, ew, ew, I don't want to. I've had these before. Matter of fact, this little bag that is still sealed up, this is a big bag that is mostly gone that we share around here. And I have to be really careful because the cat will try to take them. Let's see where are these little guys from. These are from Korea. These are Korean snacks. Um, and in the packet, serving size, it says it's one bag of this bag. And this is a 55 gram bag. And it says there are 34 total grams of carbs, uh, 300 calories. And they're, they're airy snacks. You can see pictures of them there and pictures of them there. And they are to taste like cuttlefish. Now, they are made, this contains, and this is so that you get your allergens so that you know where things come from, contains wheat. So you gluten people, you can't have that. Anchovy. Now, any Italians here know you go cook with some anchovy. Anchovy adds some nice, nice umami. Well, Koreans use anchovy a lot as well. And soy, manufactured in a facility that also processes eggs, tree nuts, and peanuts. So if you have any of those problems with allergies, you cannot eat these. Now, I'm not going to open this fresh packet. We're still eating out of this. They're both good until May of 2022. I got these at H Mart, which is a huge uh, Korean slash Asian market. Um, there's a chain of them. There's a bunch in Atlanta. Let me just take some of these out so you can see them. Look. They look kind of like fish-shaped Chex cereal, to be fair. Let's see? And they're crunchy. Mm. These are an umami bomb, okay? They are a little salty, like a good chip or crisp should be. Um, they're light in, in texture. They crunch, but they're not very dense. And they just, they have a nice sort of, hmm, maybe there was some shrimp around here flavor. Yeah, the cuttlefish um, is a lot like a squid. Um, Matter of fact, there's a little cartoon squid guy right there, or cartoon cuttlefish guy. Sometimes cuttlefish are used in place of squid um, in cooking. So there is that. So yeah, like a little squid snack. Mmm. Love squid. You ever had calamari? That's squid. So don't get yourself in a pickle. Try it. Unless you have one of those allergy problems. Just try it. Other things that are in this, actually, I was looking at this. Um, got the flour, blah, 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 rice bran oil. Never heard of that. Cornstarch, minced cuttlefish. So this actually has cuttlefish in it. Oil, sugar, salt, cuttlefish extract, blah, blah, blah. Let's see, I'm just looking at some of the other ingredients that are you know, big, long names. Purple sweet potato. But that's an interesting base for it. Mushroom extract, anchovy extract, uh, powdered cream, defatted soy flour. I don't know what some of these things are. But I do know that when I saw the big bag of these, yes, I picked them up because they are yummy. And unlike almost any flippin' snack in this country, this has a resealable zip top. Y'all. It should be like this on every bag of, of chips, especially a big one. Every bag of cereal. Yeah. And crunchy snack. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, it makes me happy dance to eat a cuttlefish snack. So much so that I'm going to have a couple of more. Mmm. So what do you think? Would you be willing to give it a try? It's not a strong flavor. It's just a nice umami, savory, 
crunchy, wonderful, snacky kind of flavor. See, big size. And we have actually made this last. I'm proud of us because we have been known to sit down in front of the telly, watch some stuff and eat a bag of these or a bag of something like it without really thinking about it because they're that good. And Nongshim is a big brand uh, of Korean food. So if you see that, it's a pretty popular brand. Mm. All right. I got to put those down before I finish the bag because that would be bad. Like I said, it's got a zip top. To get some air out of it there. I closed it all up. There we go. Get the air out of it. Zip it up for another time. Check the description box down below. There might be some more information down there that you may have missed. Also, uh, links to other things. I'd love it if you left a comment. Have you ever tried these? Have you ever tried cuttlefish snacks? you ever tried cuttlefish that you know of? Hmm. Do you like Korean snacks? I do. I found that I really like Korean snacks and Japanese snacks and some Chinese snacks too. But I like snacks from everywhere. Hey, that, that right there, this bag right here is fat chick approved. Okay. Right here. Fat chick approved. <laughs> Tell your friends. <laughs> Go to H Mart or to another Asian market and get some of these. I think you'll enjoy them. Give it a shot. Bye, y'all.